I was like, <laughs> what, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> What is up to all of my little unicorns new and old? It's your favorite lock sister duo, West Indy Ray. And Full Metal Row. And we are here today because we are gonna show you guys what basic styles look like on different lengths of hair. So when I started my locks, they were super short and I felt really limited on what I can do. But I think this will kind of show that no matter where you are in your lock journey, there are options and just because you see a style on one person, doesn't mean that you can't do it because you don't have the same length as they do. A lot of people are gonna tell you that locks come with an ugly phase, but you do not have to have an ugly phase. You could just decide not to have one and completely bypass that <laughs> whole vibe because why are we why are we even doing that? And I also understand that my hair is probably about medium length now. That's only because I've been on this lock journey for like three years. So if you're new to the lock journey, don't worry about it. If you stop paying attention to how long your hair is, it will grow like a weed. It will grow like overnight. You just can't like, be hyper focused on that and really that's not what the lock journey is about as a whole that's one of the things like patience and stuff like that is just one of the aspects of the lock journey and why it's so beautiful there are so many other things to enjoy when it comes to the lock journey and I hope that you guys if you are on a lock journey right now are finding ways to enjoy it as much as possible because the length will come the length will come so let's get into these styles a lot of them are also very adaptable for a shorter length, even shorter than mine. So it's not gonna be anything crazy, but it's gonna be cool to see it on two different heads of locks. And then we both have like around the same size of locks too. Although you have how many? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> 150 something. No, right? it's that it's different. It's like maybe one. 40s because I combined a lot of them over time. Yeah, and they're not combined right now. This it's is two just in twisted. two strand twists. Yeah with rubber bands at the end. So, and then my hair is not in two strand twists, but we're about the same length. Can we like pull out a lock and show them the different length oh. of our hair? Yeah. <laughs> you act like I told you to pull out a person. No, you said we're at the same length and I'm like. Not length, oh, we're not at the same length. We're at very similar thickness. Okay. Our locks are very similarly like <laughs> the same size. Not you tried to stun on me. <laughs> so this is her hair and these are my locks. They honestly look like they could be on the same head. But hers are a little bit thinner than mine. And I just want to show you guys, this is one that was together. I don't know why this one was so small. Do you know? No. So like over time or like just no, the way that she did No, it could have just been small from the yeah. start. This one is giving sister lock. This one is giving not sister lock. But this just goes to show that look how healthy it's growing once she put them together. You know what I mean? Like even if your locks, are not exactly how you want when you first start them, you can always pivot and do something different and join them together like how I've done and you know how she's done because I have two on this side and two on that side. This is one that I've combined myself and then this is another one that I combined. So, you know, you can always pivot. All right, let's just get into the hairstyles. What do you want to do first? I actually don't have to use this. What are you gonna use? Should I? Are you gonna use, use your hair? Ooh, okay. <laughs> she's gonna use her hair because she's that girl, okay? <laughs> Let Give us something to look forward to, why don't you? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that yet. I'll try, and then if it doesn't work out, we'll pivot, yeah. like I said. Okay, half up, half down. Do a high one. Oh, high? Yeah. Also, I don't have a retwist, she does. Yeah, I just did it like two days ago. Yeah. So are you using one strand or? So I'm just gonna take from the back. Uh -huh. Just one? Yeah. Oh. Or you can do three, but mine are twisted right now, so I don't really need. I love how we jumped from one to three. <laughs> yeah, well it just depends because like one now is two. Okay. Because it's two strand twisted, so. So you just wrap it around and then Yeah, what? so I just do like this. And then do you, like how I do you end take it? Because mine is already ended. tuck it. Tuck it into like one of them? Yeah, in the back so that it lays down. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know if this looks cute, but also my baby hairs are not done. I need to do baby hairs. I'm playing myself. If you guys need a recommendation for baby hair, She Is Bomb Edge Control is going to be the way to go. Plus, she's black. Added benefit, she's also Jamaican. So we use She Is Bomb in this household. And by we, I mean me. I don't know what you use at your crib, but me, I'm using She Is Bomb because bo bo that's why. <laughs> so. I actually don't have an edge control. What do you use? 
I don't really spit. <laughs> <laughs> she just be going with the vibes, child. If you can't tell, we're very similar in so many ways. Like this is my twin sister, but also <laughs> we're very different. Also, if you're wondering, she's older. I know a lot of people think I'm older, but I'm not. I'm almost two years younger than her. You said it's the first time what? The first time I've heard you describe our age difference that way. Oh, like Usually almost. Usually you avoid the two. Oh, I would like say a year and nine months. Yeah. A year and nine months. Anytime I try to say two years, you'd be like, it's actually a year and nine Yeah, because it's not two years. <laughs> You're not that much older than me. She used to try to flex on me, y'all. When we were younger, because she was two grades ahead of me. Which really, how long were you two grades ahead of me? Because I started doing romance when I was 15. I was doing doing one moment too. Yeah, so then we were the same grade. And cut we were. <laughs> she took hers out so that she could get it higher. That is cute. Okay, so this is how it looks. And then this is the back. And actually show them how long your hair is. Because it's actually insane. She has booty length locks and mine are almost bra strap length. But they're not quite to bra strap length yet. So this is look number one. Half up, half down, high pony with extra details of using our own hair to wrap it up. But you could just use a ponytail holder if your hair is not long enough for that yet. It's okay, I promise. This next style is going to be into with hair in the front. Do you wanna do a lot of hair or a little bit of hair? I can do like one strand on each. Okay, side. and I'm going to do, I like doing three. I think three would make me resemble the ring. The what? Ring, girl. That scary movie, the girl comes up the TV. And she's uh, like, I do not watch scary movies. Oh. I get nightmares, like real deal. I will wake up shaking in my sleep. Like, is this straight? Um, Where should this lock go? This side? No, the other side. This side? Let me see. It's equivalent either way. Okay. It's like dead in the middle. How's this? It's not gonna be straight. Either. Nah, it's good. Yeah. Okay. But this is good because this ponytail holder is really big. Yeah. They sell these at Walmart. The Goody brand, huge ponytail holders. They have these. And they also have the very thick ones too. Amazing. I think I prefer half up, half down styles than full styles. Like I prefer half up, half down ponytail than a full ponytail. I prefer half up, half down pigtails than a full pigtail. What do you think? Yeah. Let's do this and then we'll do the other version. To me, it just makes my hair look way more full. In my opinion. Are these straight? Yeah. Are mine? Yeah. That actually looks really, really cute. Like, it's giving Harley Quinn. <laughs> so this is pigtails with bangs in the front, part one. This is what it looks like in the back. This is fine. Thanks. And it's definitely not straight on either of ours. But, but that's, that's part of though. it. Yeah. That's part of it. But I agree. This is cute. All right. So up next, we're just going to do the same style, but it's going to be half up, half down, two ponytails. And can we leave a little more hair out next time? What do you mean? Like in the front. We could try. I don't know how that's going to look for me though. Okay. Well, we'll see. Okay. How does it look on? That's the point of the video. Yeah. We'll try it. Okay. This is fun. Yeah. And it's gonna encourage me to experiment more with my hair because these two strand twists are zesty for me. <laughs> That's as far as it goes. <laughs> but we're gonna leave a little more hair out in the front because I like for it to look like a little bang. To me, this makes me feel like a superhero or like a gamer girl, you know? <laughs> look at how it looks. Maybe because I have the two strand twist, but I'm seeing way too much white <laughs> right now. <laughs> You wanna know something funny? What? <laughs> what? I posted a video of you one time of your hair when we lived in Jax and somebody was like, she got a bowl. <laughs> what? It was your part. It was your part, like in the back. But somebody was like, she got a bowl spot. <laughs> I was like, that oh my god, so I think I blocked them. I have so much hair though, it's not a bowl spot. It's yeah, just it's part. just the way that the part is. And they look super sparse because I joined so many of them together. <laughs> That's really it. Excuses, excuses. 
<laughs> oh, oh my god. Same. Should I cut that part out of the video or do you not care? You know I don't care. Good. Good, good. Because that is comedy. <laughs> this is a look. This definitely makes me feel like I should be in the Pokemon show or something <laughs> like that, you know? So how does it feel having had your locks for so long? Like, do you feel bored of them? Do you feel like they are an extension of you? Like a part of you? I feel like I'm not bored with them. They're definitely an extension of me. Um, it's something that I'm grateful for because sometimes when I, they're so long and they would get in the way if I'm like dressing or if I'm laying down and I try to get up, sometimes I accidentally like, but it's more of an opportunity for me to be aware of my body mm -hmm. and be aware of myself so it's like my hair is like an extremity and I just need to learn how to move with it mm -hmm. so it's like it could be an obstacle but because it's an obstacle it's gonna help me like focus to be yeah if that makes next sense. question have you ever had the desire to like cut your locks off or comb them out because all the girls are doing that and no shame to the girls because Things serve you for however long this will serve you. I hope that you learned what you felt like you went to learn. But I just want to know, have you ever been like, I'm tired of this lock journey or like so, set an expiration on your locks? Like, is there an expiration on your locks? Do you have a limit that you're going to let them get to where you're going to chop them or cut them a little bit or cut them off? Like, let's talk about I, I don't trim them. When they're ready, they just, the ends will pop off and I just be like, whatever's in you, thanks for letting it go. But I don't trim them. I've had dreams of cutting them and combing them out, but every time I'm distraught in my dreams. Like after, <laughs> like I had a dream that I combed it out and then I was looking at like my hair and like a big poof and I was like, what, <laughs> what did, did I do? I do? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. And then I woke up like panting and I was like, okay, I didn't make that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel so, that. That yeah, is funny, was... y'all, because this is not the girl to have a poof, okay? Because when I talk about poof, I mean, it's a poof. It's beautiful. She has long, luxurious, beautiful, loose, natural hair, okay? But it is most definitely a poof. Yeah. And I don't do anything she, with it. Yeah, she doesn't do anything with it. It was always just in like a medium to low ponytail to the point where she would just keep combing it into that so much that one time she had like a mat in there that was like a lock and my dad actually had three. to- One, two, and then one on yeah. top. And, and daddy like helped hours. you coming out, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, which is crazy because where was mommy? I think she was in nursing school at the time. Yeah, but I remember the girl was crying yeah. and like she was in my parents' bathroom and my dad was helping her comb it out and I was like, <laughs> They ain't got nothing to do with me. Cause your girl is different, okay? She never did much with her hair, but I had every hair color. The baby hairs was laid. I had done different things with my hair, like texturally because, not cause I necessarily wanted to, but because at one point I was doing the whole like flat iron thing and it ruined my hair. Yeah. So I did like three big chops. It was pretty like, my hair journey is a lot more interesting than hers at the beginning. The hair journey was cute. Cause my mom would braid her hair every at least two weeks. Mm -hmm. For me, sometimes more often, cause I would take my hair out so quickly and she'd be like, girl. And then I would get my hair braided again into like some other different type of style. But for her, it was just the braids that my mom would give her, this ponytail that sat right here specifically, <laughs> and then just the lock journey. Yeah. So. Can I say something about your hair? Yeah. You remember when you when it melted? <laughs> yeah. One time I did way too much to my hair that it literally melted. And I had like been begging my mom, please cut off my hair. Like I wanna do like another big chop. Like I wanna cut it all off. And she said no, no, no. And then I had <laughs> so our mom used to have like boxes of like texturizer in her on deck. Or, like on deck for like, no reason, which I don't understand. Like maybe it was on sale. She would buy anything yeah. on sale. So she had like this package of texturizer and my hair was already like kind of shorter and a bob. And I think it was dyed like red or something at the time. And I was just like, I'll put this in my hair for two minutes and then wash it out. 
child this was in like high school towards the end of high school i put that thing in my hair for two minutes my hair melted off because <laughs> on top of that my hair has never really been good with like relaxers and texturizers anyway it just cannot withstand like i tried to texturize it when? and like around the same time where you were doing all that stuff to your hair oh where and it just looked exactly the same <laughs> that's funny play stupid games with stupid prizes so this is look number three i like it it's cute Let's show them in the back. Did I whip you? Yeah, sorry. It's okay. You know, every once in a while, you gotta get a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the next style? How about we do, I said low ponytail. Or we can do <laughs> one ponytail at the side. <laughs> Ooh, let's use the lock, these. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm gonna teach her how to use these because she's never used these before. But, and knowing me, if you like one, I will give you one. Okay. Every time she comes to visit, like you really think that I'm the big sister because I truly and genuinely love gifting my sister with things that I like. Like not even things that I don't want because she can have those too. Like every time I go through my closet and I don't want things, I let her rummage through it. All the but All the hand-me-downs. But the thing is, I like gifting her things that I love. <laughs> it makes me happy because I love sharing with my sister because she's the best and she gives to me more than she will ever know so if you like one of these you can have one so I think with this hairstyle we should do like a maybe like a pineapple situation to where it's all up okay if you guys don't know what these are this is not a sponsored video but the girl who makes these I think she actually lives here in Chicago and she's a black woman um, it's called Your Lock Muse. That's what her company is called. And she makes these lock spirals or hair spirals, they call them. And basically think about a pipe cleaner, but individually hand wrapped and they have like thread on them to make them just look even cooler. And I love these and they take her a long time to make. So I really treasure these with my heart. Cause she told me these take her like 20 to 45 minutes to make each one. Mm. And I have a bunch, so. She sent me some, but I also brought some myself with my own money because, you know, support black businesses. So you could try that one. I think that's kind of like goldish green. And then I'm going to try, I'll do like a regular green. These are super easy to put in. You just like put them on your hair and then wrap them around. But I found an even easier way that I like to do them. So what I like to do is I like to put all my hair forward. And have you ever <laughs> have you ever tied a stocking on your hair? Mm, no. So you just take the um, take the lock thing and then you put it on the back of your hair like this, right? And then you cross it over in the front and just pull like you're just tying the knot, right? Cross it over and then just wrap them around. Yeah. But one side should go on the bottom and one side should go on the top. This reminds me of the style that you did for me last time I was here. And that was super easy. So if you ever need like a two second hairstyle, but you still want it to look like effort, lock spirals. Do you like this? How do you like it? I like it. Mm -hmm. Do you like that color? Yeah. Okay. Do you want that one? Yes. Okay, good. Cause that's the only color I was willing to give you. <laughs> these other ones, like they just match so perfectly together. Like these match so I could do the pigtails. These ones are blue, but they coordinate like together. Tie it's like a tie dye type of vibe. It's like a brown, but it gives cow vibes to me. And I don't know, like, what if I'm feeling like move one day? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like this is the most where you could see the difference. You yeah. know what I mean? Yours is like Lauren Hill Shanae. Yes. <laughs> I like that. At this point, we've done three more hairstyles than I would ever normally do. <laughs> so, um, I'm running out right now. How about, ooh, how about we do like a high pony with a bang, a swoop bang. First, I'm gonna take out some hair in the front. And I like doing this hairstyle because it's a really easy way to like dress it up, you know? So I like this hairstyle for that reason. Or do you want to do half up, half down with a swoop bang? I like that better. Okay. Mm, I was gonna do two just to make it stand taller. I like vertical, vertical length a lot. Like, it's probably my favorite part about having locks because they're so like, they stick up so much, you know what I mean? 
it just is this it that can't be it let me see <laughs> there's no way that's it it's because your ponytail is so like relaxed like it should be higher yeah I don't know, I think the biggest difference between how you wear your locks right now, how I will wear my locks at that length, is definitely going to be like the fact that you never wear your hair up in like high ponytails. And I live for a high, a high ponytail moment. I need help. Don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> I feel like done right, like done properly, this would really be look nice. Is yeah. this better? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here offering assistance. I don't even know how to do my own <laughs> stuff. Hold on. Let me look in the mirror. I'm talking about it's so easy. We not even looking <laughs> in the mirror. All right. So I did mine and I ended up just letting down one of those ponytails so that it could kind of cover it up. You know what I'm saying? So this is what it looks like and I'm going to work on hers. So what keeps you from doing lock styles? Um, I think because I'm very active, like I'm either like jumping around or doing some kind of manual labor. <laughs> and I don't really go out that many places that doesn't include me like doing some kind of dancing or something. So a lot of the times I feel like having a style just holds me back. Yeah, from doing what from you just really my do. full range of motion. That's cute. I do like that. Yeah, I feel like this is a really good look for you. Yeah. And it's very easy for her because she has such long hair. Like, I don't even have to blend this. This can just go like this and it just looks like a... I like it. Yeah, this is so cute. Mm -hmm. Wow. You want to do it yeah. them together? So this is what the hairstyles look like. I love this. This is probably one of my go-to, my current go-tos right now. Even the edges. Of yeah. This, I got a little... Yeah. You can use like one baby hair. But the thing is, I don't know if you guys have seen this, her baby hairs are like, they start transparent and then they get darker. <laughs> but this part, like a lot of times y'all be thinking my dog bald headed. Her hair is just so blonde. Yeah. She's not bald. I got my daddy's hairline. So yeah. that doesn't really help it. But there is I hair do there. too. Yeah, this is daddy's hairline. My dad, his hair goes like this and then it goes in like that. <laughs> And then it goes down. There's hair there. It's just, you can't really see yeah, it. Yeah, it's very platinum. <laughs> and her sideburns. You can see it a lot on the sideburns. All of this, this is sideburn. <laughs> Y'all be seeing my sideburns because mine are black. Yeah. Her, she has sideburns too, but they're just <laughs> very blonde. Like very, very this blonde. This is the proof. Yeah. It's like a magic trick. Yeah. <laughs> I even have a mustache and you know what I mean? Yeah, my mustache, you <laughs> could see it. In broad daylight, I gotta handle it, okay? <laughs> her mustache, she just gets to skate through life. Smooth, but this is what the hairstyle looks like. This is what it looks like from the back. And then for our last hairstyle, for our last trick, we're gonna do a messy bun. And that is where you guys are really gonna see the major difference, I think. Because yeah. the buns are gonna look completely different. I like using the big ones for my buns as well. I don't know how you do your messy buns, but for me, I just go like this. This is the messy bun but then sometimes like in the back it goes like that so what i like to do is i take this like scrunchie that i have it's like a silk scrunchie and then i just put it around the whole thing just to tie everything in yeah this is my version of a messy bun i still like the mess but i also like for it to look like kind of in unless i get it perfect Sometimes I get it perfect and it just looks so messy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But also so cool. But when it's just like a bunch of them like that, I don't really be vibing with that. And that's when I pull this out. I like but, mine like this. Yeah, and in your face kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. And I like that it shows off the little green pieces or teal pieces. So this is the last look. All right, y'all, so that has been six different hairstyles on long and short hair. I had a lot of fun filming this video with you, but as usual, if you made it to this point in the video, make sure to leave a little unicorn in the comment section below. And then leave what? If you wanna see more of my sister. Spiral emoji. Spiral emoji. If you wanna see more of my sister, <laughs> make sure you leave that in the comment section below as well. It doesn't have to be an either or. 
you know you can leave both you can do both you should do both actually also make sure to like subscribe comment and share follow all my social media accounts as well as hers right down there in the description box and i'll see you guys in the next video peace